Okay, we're back. Um, we're gonna go for the Iron Man if we haven't played. Uh, this is a, like a week or so later. After I'm filming the Iron video. Um, so last time we showed off all the four player games, now we're gonna show off the other games. So, Belcher Jr., we have uh, four mini games. The first one is Mech and March, which I'm gonna turn the center on for. Work with your teammate to operate a two mega vehicle. What the hell is going on with my controller? You know where catch baby mouse. You gotta up, 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 down, up, down, up is a pain you do. Is it motion control? But oh, it's not. Okay. There we go. Okay, next game is uh, Bowser Pop. Wait. Okay, I'll hop over for two and then I'll switch it out. This one you just gotta pop all the balloons. We get more time and then we gotta pop the big balloon. There we go, that was easy. Unfortunately, save as much as good, mostly good ones for last. Uh, next is Double Pounder. Actually, all for. No, wait, go back. Double pounder. So you get a grab pound the switches that match your teammate at the same time. This one's pretty easy. Look, okay, let's go, y'all. One, two, three, go. Green. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three. There we go, blue. One, two, three. One, two. Red or pink. Two, three. There we go. And then the problem we have is a game I don't really see come up very often anymore. Let me get the um. Let me switch the AI. It is bumper sparks? So you gotta like ram him into the electric things and most controls because. The wig. God, I haven't played this game in a while. We just gotta bump him three times. Okay. Oh, you can bump yourself into that. That's great. So. Well, that was really easy. Less than 10 seconds. Could have gotten that game. Nope. Okay, now we have the uh, one versus rival games. We have, I believe, how many of them? We have whopping five rooms rumble. We're gonna switch out the players. All player tries to kill the air players, including the dry bones. And of course, it's tilt controls. Uh, the thing, unlike Snow Brawl, if you actually. Even if you hit all three players, but not all the dry bones, you still freaking lose, which is really freaking retarded. So you gotta hit everyone, including dry bones. I'm gonna try to be the one player for all these. Alright, next is Hazard Hold. 
Unleash fire, electricity, and wind on your opponents. The solar power must hit all four players to win. So you just go for the switches. I was a fr I tried being the free player on this before. It actually isn't that bad. It's kind of easy to survive. So fire, I don't think does much. Like that's what fire does. Electric activates the middle. Like, fire doesn't really do much. You have to really just go on the electric. And get lucky at the wind. Okay, we still won. Wait, I think I actually have a list of the balance game real quick. Because I did. I remember I tried to do for every freaking Mario Party game. It's on the record. I think it's on something else. One. It's on the, I believe, the. T no, it's the minigame types. So we have Weird Wheels next, which I think is the most balanced. Let me pull this up for a second. A Mario Party 9, okay. Uh, block and Roll, Spike and Span. Whole hogs, which we'll get to in a second, and pick fix our bias towards the one. Lie in the sand, the tackle game, and mob slice, which we'll get to in a second, is by towards the three. And then ruins rumble, hazard hold, and weird weird wheels are biased towards the are balanced. So you gotta like you have to press the D-pad while each person has to press a certain button. So it's kinda like a bunch of games. It's kind of like Fish and Drips. It's also kind of like Flop Pull. Which I think is kind of interesting. Because I feel like this game is actually really balanced. Well, it appears are kind of sucking, but... Because they came close. They needed one more input. Okay, what games have we played before? We played Lion Sand, Tackle Takedown, okay. And we played Block and Ball, Roll, Spike and Span, Pixmix. So, technically, we didn't even see any of the balance games, which is stupid. So, next we have Whole Hogs. Turn on the sensor. A soul player must hit the air free players that earn points. The air players must earn points oh, before they earn whatever. So it's like Monty's Revenge, except it's crap. Let's actually like hit them. I remember this one being really stupid. That's how bad it was. So you have to hit every single person. Cause like you're usually gonna miss freaking at least one person. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of unfair. <laughs> yeah, so let's buy the one. Nope. I guess we're probably human, so yeah. Okay, well, we have one more, which is mob slides. I'm going to switch out the AI. We don't need this on for now. I uh, keep away from the slides. So you have to avoid hitting their players. Except you have to go on the track and you can hit our people. I feel like this game is kind of unfair towards the one. As long as you stay separately. Oh, it just slows one person down. Oh my god, this control is like... At least it's not tilt controls. Okay, yeah, that seems really unfair. Okay, we're now going for threes. Now we just have the boss games. And now DK Shogun Ruins is processing right now. Okay, boss games, we have two mini, and we have one normal, we have socket to the key to. Punch the blocks when both bills appear on them to launch attacks at the key to. The more both bills on the block, the bigger the attack. We have a jump. 
Because I remember we just did like two cheap cheeps, I think one spike or something, and then we did like two dry bones? Yeah, that seems right. Yeah, don't get the frickin' spinies. Whenever I play people, this is the one I usually choose. I think it's the most balanced. Because, like, the dry bones one people don't like because they're not used to. Oh my god, the frickin', like, sensor bar. I keep getting the goddamn spikes. This one's just bad at timing. This one's usually, like, one of my favorites. Because whenever I play up, this is the one I usually choose. Or the one we'll get to next, the one, because it's luck based. God damn it, that's two. Oh, oh god damn it, Koopa! Frickin' last attack, BS. Oh, we did Cheap Cheap for frickin' Toad Road. Dry Bones for Bomb Factory and the Blue Level. And then we did Cheap Cheap for Blooper Beach and then Spike Strike for Mega Mine. There you go. Do Womp Stomp. Let me... Second, this game is trash, but I pick it anyway when I play people because I guess the most balanced. We don't play Marper that often. Okay, next is Womp Stomp. Uh, pick either zero or one. There's a couple games that are like this in the new other games. Okay. Thing. Okay, and then you mash the A button. I can't explain things well, but we discussed that enough already. I'm gonna just keep track of something. Hold on. Okay, Koopa score himself. Okay, I can actually use the mashing method for this one. Screw method. And then the faster you ground pound, the more damage you do. <laughs> okay, make sure I don't screw myself. You son of a bitch game. Yep. Nothing like being crushed and have someone just like step on your face. Crushed again, Burrow has a guy crushed once. Frickin' trash ass game. Watch, I'm gonna get crushed again. Okay, good, Burrow gets crushed. Well, there's no way I can win, but. Nope, I'm screwed. Am I gonna get one hit? Well, I got frickin' second. I mean, third. I thought Koopa got last, even though he didn't get hit once. Oh, I didn't even count that losing point. Could be one more game. Which is freaking stupid, but we're gonna go. We're gonna do it anyway. 
It is a bomb art king bomb bomb. Uh, this is pretty much like a lot of games. It's like freaking same as lame. You know those games where it's like pick a thing. That's not very helpful. But it's like one of those games where it's like pick a thing. You pick the same thing as someone else. You lose. I guess that's how it works. Stop giving me ten install things on my computer. I don't care. I'm on installing this crap. Part one went up. Thank you, boy. Start. Yeah, of course. I haven't got any points. Like, this is the problem. It's a boss fight, so it's like... Oh my god. This is gonna be so freaking bad. We can't do any damage. No, fine. I'll go for the freaking... Your D-pad or the one button. Thank you. And no, I even went for the big bomb. We have two choices. God damn it! Freaking Birdo! Oh my god! This is a trash- Fine, I'll go for the second freaking biggest. And then watch, we're not gonna go- The problem with picking the same thing, it just like screws you from taking- The Jesus- Oh my god! This is a trash boss. Like, the AI knows what you're gonna do. It's like, okay, I'm gonna screw you over. Oh, I actually got points. Now we're halfway through, like, after like three minutes. I want to edit this video to the camera because it's so damn long. I have to cut the video short because, of course, time. Oh my god, Birdo! And we're gonna keep losing points because Birdo's like, I don't want to- I want to choose my boyfriend's picking because I'm an asshole. Fine, I'll pick the second biggest one. Is that better, Birdo? Oh my god! Frickin' Birdo! She's not even- she just doesn't want me to win. And the boss is taking six- fine! Take the- any of them. The boss normally doesn't take six years, but if you have AI who don't know what- Correct, like, frickin' Oh my god, Birdo! No, we're gonna be a frickin' fourth. This is game- you know what? fine. I don't care if it's not gonna get me any points. I'm gonna pick it because it's gonna give me a frickin' win and bonus. Thank you! That brought me to first, so suck it. I'm first because of that. Frickin' game. Frickin' bold of it game. Not game, frickin' here. Yeah, five points, big frickin' deal. I'll be tied. So that's it for the video, Mario Party 9. I'll see you guys for the next board.